the content i am going to put on this youtube channel or in this youtube video is only for educational purpose don't misuse this knowledge if you are going to misuse this knowledge i'll be not responsible for your actions okay so in this one i am going to explain you how to bypass cloudflare protection for website so this question i found on hack.bugarna.com the question is asked by ta07 so there are basically three methods for uh, bypassing cloudflare protection okay so uh, two of them methods are uh, i taken from this blog post or you can say this forum question answers and one method i have added my own okay so let me explain first method so first method is basically finding other services on the same domain or sub domain so what do you mean by other services so there are services like mail service or any chat service okay so that the service mainly hosted on or basically uh, in sometimes that services are hosted on the sub domains okay so like suppose uh, let's take an example of this bugger and so i am going to open my terminal right here so in this terminal as you can see bagarna has several subdomains so all the subdomains so one of them is mail.bagarna.com so let's dig for mail.bagarna.com okay so here you can find ip address of the mail.bagarna.com and it is not using cloudflare because we can't use cloudflare with mail services if we uh, switch on cloud uh, cloudflare proxy for mail services it is not possible to receive emails from others so that's why we don't use uh, uh, email services over cloudflare okay so that's make the vulnerable website okay so we can just copy this ip address and we can change check that uh, if it is uh, receiving bagarna.com's connection or not so by using this method you can find that uh, if uh, cloud bagarna.com has hosted on the same server as mail.bagarna.com then we can just you know uh, basically discover original ip address of the uh, website itself okay so why i'm saying this because there are several uh, control panels available like a panel cyber panel uh, c panel so these control panels provide email services also like we can set up email servers on the same control panel where we are hosting the website okay so that's make web websites vulnerable so we can exploit that thing okay so this is the first method i showed you using uh, mail.bagarin.com but you can oh, sorry i showed you using mail services but you can use any link services to that uh, main domain it can be chat it can be mail or it can be fax anything okay okay so next one is uh, finding old dns records okay so finding old dns records is uh, this answer is given by in the post itself okay so how to find old dns records so for that i have one website right here so as you can see the website says dnshistory.org so here i can simply enter a domain name okay so it will return all uh, dns history for the uh, domain okay so like uh, let's say about ns records for bagarina.com so let me open in new tab as you can see here the ns record basically says so ns record basically saying that from 2021 to 2028 21 uh, 21 june we have here digital ocean as a name server okay so that means uh, mail.bagarina sorry bagarina.com was using digital ocean service for hosting a uh, website okay so the IP needs to be assigned with DigitalOcean only. After that, uh, two th two thousand what is this? Uh, December two thousand, he shifted with Bagarena shifted uh, its hosting to sorry its DNS to Cloudflare. Previously, it was handled by the DigitalOcean and it's now hosted to the Cloudflare. Okay, so that's with that's tell the basically that uh, uh, Bagarena haven't changed the hosting itself. He changed with just the DNS. That's when he just attached uh, Bagarena's owner just attached a Cloudflare service in the front of DigitalOcean. Okay, so next uh, let's explore A records. Okay, so I am clicking on history of A records and opening the new, new tab. Okay, so as A records says, if you scan the IP addresses, then you can find these five IP addresses belong to DigitalOcean. Okay, 
so that means these five hepatitis are with digital ocean and these are the with cloud fair so after uh, bagarana is still using i think uh, digital ocean as a hosting provider and they are adjust attaching cloud fair in the front of um, what do we say mm, in front of digital ocean all right so what we can do is if ip of the bagarana.com is not changed and they just added the cloud fair in the front of this then we can just copy this ip address and we can send a uh, uh, just cre create one dns record for this one uh, in our local dns and we can just send one request for bagarana.com in this particular ip address and we can just check uh, whether the ip address is same or not okay and uh, there is a, another uh, thing as well so that i forgot to tell you like suppose both services like mail service and website web server is also on the digital ocean so usually what happens these services created in order like uh, uh, the servers on the digital ocean called as a droplets okay so suppose the owner knows that we need two droplets one for mail service and one for uh, web service right what web server then uh, while creating a droplet what he can do he can create a simultaneously two droplets okay so what happened while creating a simultaneously true droplet suppose the mail uh, dot bagran dot com droplet created at the first so the ip address will be this one but if we create a second droplet with it simultaneous then ip address might be just uh, changing last digit like 134.209.150.76 okay so it will be like closest digit like here at the end it's 75 so here it can be 74 76 77 okay it's like uh, plus minus two buffer okay so the that might be uh, the possibility also okay otherwise you have ip address you can just uh, uh, check all dns records and pull up the ip address for the uh, web server okay so this was the second method okay so third method is looking into uh, response of the web servers we can say okay so this method is not answered in the question answer session uh, this method is uh, basically i use this method in order to test the one website and i managed to bypass cloud for protection for that particular website okay so this is this is during a bug bounty program okay so what i did was i used zap proxy so zap zap proxy is basically proxy tool used in uh, any security os okay okay so this is the zap proxy interface right here so uh, what does the zap proxy do zap proxy is basically scans uh, it works like burp proxy only but it's uh, a little bit uh, easy to use zap proxy okay so here we can do is we can click uh, on manual explorer and we can just enter any url so i am going to enter bagarina.com okay and launch it in browser okay so what this Zap proxy do it will catch each response and each request as you can see right here it is establishing the proxy and it is uh, scanning each response and each uh, what is a request okay so if i go to bagarna.com right here the tab opened by Zap proxy and uh, just click on see list okay so i'll be redirected to hack.bagarna.com so these all the requests will be catched here right here and scanned here and it will see if uh, what he can find any information or any vulnerability in the uh, request response itself okay so as you can see here there are a lot of uh, uh, flags are here okay these are not all the vulnerabilities but these are the flags okay it's uh, uh, it's not always that this flag shows the true values okay like uh, even if the flag is here the flag is here red but uh, the actual in the in the actual website we don't have any vulnerabilities okay so bagarina.com don't have any of these vulnerabilities but these are the flags based on some previous data that they are trying to scan okay basically something like that so move for most of the website you can see right here they uh, they enable one flag right here which is called as uh, private ip disclosure okay so for this uh, bagarna.com we don't have private ip disclosure but in that case 
let's take example uh, some xyz.com website some example.com website has a private ip leaked flag okay so it's like information disclosure flag right so when we click on that and uh, we can just find private ips right here okay so what what we can do after finding private ip so private ip has some characteristics like uh, if you are familiar with all cloud providers then you can see the private ip has some uh, some sort of uh, what we say some sort of uniqueness okay so what kind of uniqueness we can say so like uh, amazon's private uh, amazon uw services like aws has a private ip starting from 174 172 okay whereas the digital ocean has private ip starting from 10 dot something okay so if the private ips are starting from 10 dot something then we can just create another droplet from our using our account on the digital ocean and then we can use that private ip to access that website right so right now we are uh, like by bypassing the cloudflare protection by using so where these uh, private ips came from okay so these private ips comes from uh, what we call vpc okay so it's like private uh, network okay so these vpcs are used to connect between two hosts like uh, internal communication like uh, my web server is hosted on one server and my database hosted on second server okay so in order to connect communicate between them uh, developer or uh, services like aws use vpcs okay so we can exploit that okay so we can just join same vpc if it is public vpc and uh, we can send uh, request uh, to that particular website using private ip addresses so these are the three methods uh, i know to uh, bypass cloud for reproduction so if you have any method to bypass cloud for reproduction just you can come here down here in this link i will mention this link in the description you can come here and answer your add your own answer and if you disagree with any of these answers then you can just reply right here so that other people also can uh, learn about it okay so yeah for this one see you next